All right, well, I guess I'll just start with uh, everybody saw the news yesterday with Draymond uh, being suspended indefinitely. I think it's something that we work with the league, his representation, Draymond, just to kind of talk through and figure out. And we think it's the right solution right now. Uh, I think everybody obviously wants definite answers and length and all that stuff. But I think for what's best for us and Draymond and everybody is, um, you know, we help him with the appropriate amount of assistance. And then we judge and base it on his comeback, dependent on, you know, when, when the right time is. So it's indefinite truly means indefinitely. And so um, I'll kind of leave it at that as far as getting into the specifics of how, what that's going to look like and all. Um, a little bit of it's a privacy thing, a little bit of it's, you know, team policy that we don't get into that stuff. So um, we'll continue to help him with things. And, you know, moving forward, you know, we got a team that's, you know, pretty good basketball team, I think. The record doesn't reflect that right now, but we've got good depth. We've got a great player in Steph Curry that's still elite. And so, um, you know, we just are looking to turn things a little bit here where get things going and, um, you know, turn the corner. But um, overall, uh, I think yesterday was a, was a long day. It's been a long 48 hours, but I think today we're in a good place and uh, got a game against the Clippers tonight. We'll see, uh, see how we do. Mike, how do you ensure that something actually changes? Because, I mean, Draymond's been suspended or last season after the Jordan Poole incident, he took some time away to work on himself, but nothing seems to have really changed. Yeah, I think nothing in this world is, is, is promised or certain, so I, I can't guarantee you that. I can, just, I can just say we'll continue to do the right things to help him, and um, I think we've, we've done a decent job of that in the past, and we'll continue to work through it. And um, we got a lot of parties involved that are – the biggest thing here to me is not the punishment. It's just, it's just, just helping, helping out given assistance and um, we all agree on that which is good that's that's Draymond that's the league that's us and um, you know I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic we'll get there but to your question you know there's no guarantees will he be with the, like practicing and around the team yeah I mean I think for us the thought process is um, I think there's a lot of ways you can go about this but I think we think for now the healthiest healthiest thing is for him to be around and um, you know that it may not be every single day but uh, you know, we're not jettisoning the guy off somewhere pretty opaque there's it's assumed that he will return soon later he'll, he'll be back when you know it's it's, it's the right time um, and that's something that we'll all consider the league Draymond us um, it's you know Steve and I were just talking like anybody that has an amount of games or time suggested or in their head I'm just telling you right now is wrong because we don't we don't have that um, I don't think Draymond has that I don't think the league has that so anything beyond that is hearsay how much is this impact your long-term decision making on the roster and, and with Draymond in particular? Yeah, I mean, I think the bigger impact will be, you know, how we do the next 15, 20 games. And that'll, that'll probably determine, you know, where we go more than this, this specific incident or, or this time away for him. Um, the reality of the situation is if you're evaluating Draymond, his ability this year has been great. His availability is not. And so we need him more available because when he plays, he's really good. We're really good. And, um, you know, that's, that's the main thing. I, I don't think I need any more evaluation of Draymond as a player. We need a little bit more evaluation on this team and the chemistry and the lineups and all that. But um, uh, from a basketball standpoint, you know, honestly, pretty pleased with Draymond. We want to help him be on the court more, though. As you said, the next 15, 20 games is kind of critical. If Draymond misses a good chunk of that, does it make it harder to evaluate, you know, other decisions with the roster? I don't think so, just because I'm assuming him as a huge positive. And so you plug him back in, I think things will be pretty good. Um, so where are we at without him is something I want to evaluate, get an opportunity to see some of these other guys play some more. Um, look, this team was built around great depth. We've got really good depth. That's enabled us to stay in and be really competitive in a lot of these games when we've missed guys, whether it's Gary, Draymond. You know, Steph's missed some games. Chris has missed some games. So one of the strengths of this team beyond Steph Curry is the depth. And uh, we'll continue to lean into that and, you know, we'll see how it goes. How would you characterize the conversations you've had with him since the suspension was handed down? Very open, um, but positive. You know, I think this is a, a, something that a lot of people may see as a problem, but we're looking to turn it into a positive. It's at a point in his career and his life where uh, we want to get some things straightened out, and um, maybe sometimes you need a jolt like that, but um, I think it's been very positive, very open, and um, extremely optimistic we can get to where we need to go. With how important he is to this team, I mean, just how frustrating and disappointing is it that, again, he's going to be missing 
unspecified, but a longer you know, amount of time. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's not ideal. Um, he means so much to this team and organization. Um, his presence um, in games and, and being around is, is huge. So, um, you know, we'll miss that on the floor every night. And, you know, again, he'll still be around the team. So, you know, he'll be there. But it, when you're not playing in games, it's not the same. So, so we're going to miss that. But um, like I said, we'll lean into our depth. We've got to look. We've got a lot of guys playing really well. That's the good news. Um, you know, we got some guys that we need to play better, but overall, Steve's got a lot of ways to go to get this thing right, and I think we can. What is your overarching view, though, of this team, 10 and 13? You mentioned the guys struggling are important guys, and now no Draymond. Yeah, I mean, I think the overarching uh, view is that there's two things I feel are certain. Steph's still elite, and we've got great depth, and from there, I think we just we've kicked some games away. Um, you guys have seen it, whether it's late game situations, execution, things like that. I mean, I think the last four road games we've had against good teams, we've had double digit leads and do we know we squandered them. So it's not like we're getting, you know, blown out by 25 points. I think that'd be a different thing, a different feeling if we were. Um, so, I, you know, look, I think we're right there, but at some point our record is gonna have to change. We're gonna have to creep past 500 and start winning some games. And, and if not, then we gotta reevaluate. When you say reevaluate, is that like, you know, potentially big changes? I mean, you have obviously a tax bill that's crazy like what is the reevaluation yeah, I mean the reevaluation is can, can we make the team better um, that's always the case and you know with 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 Joe Lake and this ownership group it's always about being better there's a there's clearly a willingness to spend um, they always okay that and so for us it's it's find a way to make the team better specifically this year how surprising has it been just seeing the starting lineup struggling yet the young guys and the bench being such a bright spot, it's been kind of the opposite of what maybe a lot of people expected. Yeah, I mean, the young guys in the bench has not been a surprise. The starting lineup, which has been the best in basketball for the last couple of years, frankly, yeah, that's been a surprise. You know, I thought we'd be better there, sure up our bench, and we'd had a really good, we, we would have a really good team. Um, it hasn't really necessarily played out that way, but um, I think there's still combinations and lineups out there we can put that will, will kind of right the ship and get things right, and I think Steve will start experimenting with that. You're on year one of a four-year deal with Draymond. I mean, is, is it still the organization's expectation that this is a long-term partnership with Draymond? Yeah, I think so. You know, we're committed to him. He's been here for a long time. He's hung a ton of banners and means so much to this organization. And um, like I said before, I think this is about, um, you know, turning this thing into a positive and getting better. And so I think that happens and, you know, we feel really good because, again, his play has been terrific. Uh, it's just been his lack of, a, lack of a availability that's, that's not been great and we want to make that better. So the league has made it, like, very clear, like, any incident come with a, a pretty stiff punishment. Even once he does come back, I mean, we know what the playoffs are like. There's flagrant fouls. There's, there's various situations. What's the concern level that even when he's back, if there's a hard foul in a playoff game, he's, you know, they're just going to say he's gone for the whole series? Yeah, I mean, that's part of the, the, the dance we got to walk. I think that's part of the things we need to address. But at the end of the day, his past, you know, transgressions on the court um, will lead to you know harsher punishment. They've stated that. That's just the case. He's got to be aware of it. But you know, hopefully, we can get him to a point where he's still the same high energy, competitive guy. And as situations arise, um, you know, he's got to got to find a way to regulate that. Going back to what you first said, of, so when the league decided that it was indefinite, you guys had conversations with them. Was it just them telling you this is what it is and you agreeing, or are you guys like actively working together to figure out what the suspension looks like? No, there is active collaboration. I reached out in a sense of, hey, we, you know, we understand there's a punishment that's going to take place, but this is also about, you know, supporting and helping somebody. And so they 100% agreed. You know, as did Draymond, his rep representation. So we, we've all been on the same page and. Um, you know, because you, you got to work together in these things, um, as league rules permit, for us to have one thing and the league to have another, and you know, crossing over and all that stuff. It, we, we all need to be on the same page in this one. I think we are. What do you make of, of the rule that they have for Draymond specifically, and, and having to work around that? Do you think it's fair? Uh, what rule? Oh, the, sort of the the, the the standard that they hold him to in terms of when he commits a foul, he gets harsher punishment. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, I think that's that's reasonable. Um, you know, in an effort to clean things up, um, they are harsher on past offenders, and those are the rules, and you got to play by them. How has this year been like for you? I mean, you know, this is year one yeah. in, in this seat. Um, it's been a lot, but look, I've been around the league a long time. Um, I think I know what I signed up for in terms of different things are going to be coming at you. You can't predict specifically what they are, 
but fully, fully on board and good with what's going on. Totally understand what I stepped into. And um, look, I, I really feel good about this team. Yeah, I'm working for a great organization. We've got really good players. Um, again, not happy with the results um, in terms of record, but I do think we're right there. And the next next package of games here, we'll, we'll find out. Do you, I mean, you mentioned the next 10 to 15, we'll, you'll reevaluate things. Do you think you'll be aggressive at the deadline regardless if the record's good, if it's not? I mean, maybe it's a different strategy, but. Yeah, I think, I, I, I question as to whether to ever be aggressive. I think you got to be open and, and seek things and, and look at everything. And if something makes sense, you do it. Um, but I, I would never do something just to do something. Uh, we've had a pretty good track record here recently with making positive deals where, you know, we've been able to look out for a long term salary spending and acquire good players. And we'll continue to do, continue to do that. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for cutting it, Randy.